Hey everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Once again, we'd like to say thank you for your continued interest and support of the channel. Today, we're going to review the four sectors of the economy. With that said, let's get right into it. The four main sectors of the economy are as follows. The primary sector, also known as the extraction or raw materials sector. The secondary sector, also known as the manufacturing sector. The tertiary sector, also known as the service sector and the quaternary sector, also known as the knowledge sector. So the primary sector is sometimes known as the extraction sector because, well, it involves extracting or collecting raw materials. These can be renewable resources such as fish, forestry, and wind power, or it can be the use of non-renewable resources such as oil extraction or mining for coal. This sector is typically the most dominant in less developed traditional economies, but is a very important and necessary contribution to any thriving economy, no matter its size. Next, we have the secondary sector, which makes and distributes finished goods or products. There are different types of industries in this sector, such as manufacturing, for example, producing vehicles from primary and intermediate goods like glass, aluminum, rubber, etc. Construction, for example, building homes, factories, or repairing infrastructure and utilities. For example, providing goods like electricity, gas, and water to households. The manufacturing industry takes raw materials and combines them to produce a higher value-added finished product. For example, raw sheep's wool can be spun into a better quality wool. This better quality wool can then be threaded and knitted to produce a sweater that can then be worn to keep you warm during those random snow squalls that happen in May. Yes, that's Canadian weather for you. This sector uses goods acquired from the primary sector, and so it became significantly more popular and industrialized with the improvement of manufacturing equipment, technology, and techniques. Third, we have the tertiary or service sector. It includes many different industries, including but not limited to retail, financial services, leisure, hospitality, and tourism, communications, IT, transportation, and healthcare. The service sector is concerned with the intangible aspect of offering services to consumers and businesses. It involves retail of manufactured goods such as food and clothing. It also provides services such as insurance and banking. And in the 20th century, the service sector has grown exponentially due to improved labor productivity and higher disposable income. Higher disposable incomes enable more spending on luxury service items such as tourism and restaurants, which really help to expand the tertiary sector and makes it extremely popular in well-developed nations. Finally, we have the quaternary sector, which is commonly referred to as the knowledge sector and includes industries such as education, research and development, and public sector or government workers. The quaternary sector involves the intellectual aspect of the economy and includes education, training, and development of technology, as well as research and development. It is the process which enables entrepreneurs to innovate better manufacturing processes and improve the quality of services offered within the economy. Without this growth of technology and information, economic development would be very slow or non-existent. This sector is really what puts a developed nation ahead of its fellow countries. The more developed the quaternary sector is, the more efficient an economy becomes and the more economic growth they will experience. This sector focuses on the development of what economists call human capital, IT, knowledge, education, etc. It is primarily related to the service sector, but it is also related to high-tech components of manufacturing. A firm's best assets are its employees and its personnel, and this sector shows it. As a nation develops, it will typically move from the primary sector towards the quaternary sector over time, though all four are crucial to the economic welfare of a country and the world as a whole. So that's all four sectors in a nutshell. Just to recap what we've gone over today, there are four economic sectors. The primary sector is sometimes known as the extraction or raw materials sector because it involves, well, extracting or collecting raw materials. The secondary sector makes and distributes finished goods or products. The tertiary sector is concerned with the intangible aspect of offering services to consumers and businesses. And lastly, the quaternary sector involves the intellectual aspect of the economy and includes education, training, and development of technology and research and development. Well, thanks to everyone still watching the video. And as usual, if you liked the video and are excited to see more, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and comment what sort of economic topics or homework questions you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.